Hi right, guys, um, I got an update for you about that um, auto updater. Um, this one you don't even have to; it doesn't open your web browser, so it's uh, actually really better. Um, so basically, what you can do, I I'm just gonna do one little thing real quick. I'm just gonna undo all of that. All right. So basically, um, this is just a test I was doing to make sure it worked before I did an actual update. Um, I actually came up with this one on my own. So yeah. Um, so what you're going to do is going to hit update. It'll say checking for updates. Uh, you got your progress bar, your percentage right there. Um, it'll if if you have a download, then it'll it'll tell you downloading update. And but it says you are up to date because there's no download, and it says you may close you may now close the style log. So I'm going to show you what it happens when it when there is an update. So. I'm gonna put that as a one. I'm gonna save it, close it, bring that back up. I'm gonna click update. And as you can see, it says downloading update, and it didn't even open my browser. Now, that's where this part, that's where this really is much better. Um, you can basically run it and save it or cancel. Um, this, the way this um, updates is it. It has a it updates through the program itself. Um, it's got a browser in the program that it updates from, and yeah. So, so without further interruptions, let me put that back to zero. Save it. Go ahead. Oh no, I don't want to do that. I want to go ahead and open up your program. Um, I'm going to open up one that I've been working on, and I want to implement this new download or upload or update system so here's my program I guess you can say this is the program this is it right here and working but it's not completely done yet so I'm going to go to oh, I don't have an update on here huh nope I don't want to do that alright well I'm gonna go ahead and make the update. I'm going to put in a separator. Put it right there. Wanna move that? God damn it. Alright, this is pissing me off now. Come on. Alright. Um so once you got your um update right made, go ahead and open that up. What you're gonna do is you're gonna Copy this all right here. Control s or no. Okay, once you got your thing made, um, however you're gonna do it, I'm just gonna make another thing. I'm gonna name my form here. Update. I'm going to do this. I'm not going to show the icon and I'm not going to make it sizable so it's going to be the topmost go ahead and put a button in here alright alright I'm going to rename this Check for, whoops, C H E. Check for repeat updates. All right, here we go. Um, I'm just gonna put that right there. What else do I need? I need a progress bar, right? No, I want to go. No, K R. Y P T O Krypton P R O Nope. The panel. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and get our progress bar. Oh, where should we put this? Um, we'll do that in a minute. Grab a couple labels. Um, where the hell are my labels? Where are they? Where are they? Right there. So we're gonna 
grab two labels. Oh, we need a web browser first. So grab a web browser and a timer. Alright. Just all you gotta do is you can make this as small as you want, as big as you want, it don't matter, because it's not gonna be seen anyways. So I'm just gonna do that and visible false. So I'm just gonna hide this. put it right there because it doesn't matter um, I'm going to stretch this across I'm just going to rename this put it as a dot for now we're going to leave that like that maybe make it a little bit bigger Alright, just gonna make this label one and that two. Um, let's see, I don't know how I really don't know how I wanna make this though. Resize your form. Alright, let's just make this center I guess. Alright. Go ahead and open this. Get your code here. Copy this. Paste that in. We'll go. Krypton button one. Alright, now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to copy all of this again. Go back into your form, double click on your timer, paste that in, and now it should work all fine. So let's go ahead and try it real quick. Ignore that. Ignore. File update. Oh, whoops. I guess we need to... No, oh my god. Update, what was that, form 6? Six? 6.show. Six Go ahead and click that. Update. Check for updates. Oh. Again, I messed up, so let's... I will put the code in the description for you guys, so you need to copy that. Button one dot click that needs to go somewhere else. So go ahead and select this again. Backspace. Alright, we need to go. Alright, you guys shouldn't get this many errors. I'm just not exactly ready. Didn't come prepared. Alright. Now we need to copy this crypt and shit again. Alright, now it should work all fine. Go ahead and run your program. Click update. Check for updates. Oh my god, it's not working again. I had that same problem. Where the hell is it? Okay. Sorry again. Like I said, I didn't come prepared, so. And if. Okay. RYPT of Krypton. Now this should work. Final time. Fifth time is a charm, correct? There we go. You are up to date. Sweet. Alright, we're just gonna rearrange this, so let's just go ahead and put that right about there. And we'll go ahead and check it again. 
sweet it's center alright guys so um let's wait let's check that one more time file update and okay as you can see that thing is not there the um the web browser is not there so I'll just show you what how it how it works if there is an update whoops so we'll just go ahead in here and change this change that save it update alright as you can see it says downloading update and it says you may now close this dialog and I can run it, save it, or cancel it. And yeah, so I will be implementing this into my all of my programs that I have made so far. And yeah, so I hope I wish you guys luck with making this. Um, I wish to you see your programs. And yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. See ya.